Hi, so this basically we're trying to cover how to move to IT field for non-IT background people. And I'm just going to get an overview of, uh, means I can understand. So Anuj, what is your background? I work in the technical field. I fix copiers. Fix copiers, okay, that's yes. great, yeah. And what about you, Neelam? Uh, I'm into retail uh, backgrounds, so basically buying and merchandising. Okay. And how are you? I'm from information technology. So I have an infosec background. I'm just here with my wife. I got it. Yeah, yeah it's good. It's eventually you will get your ILR and it might be very beneficial. So like right now you're in tier 2, right? Yeah, but I'm on ICT. So we which don't is not eligible for ILR. Yeah, that's what we discussed. That's what we yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll cover that later. Okay, so uh, let's, let's start over. Whenever you have questions, this is like a free session. Wherever you have any question, we write away, resolve rather than waiting till the end. Okay. Uh, and it's more relevant for job and uh, initially the last we cover is uh, how to maintain your job so there are a lot of slides here which we will cover today okay. it's uh, yeah basically uh, one of the philosophy is I think you must have seen this slide like you have to be the best so no matter which job you want whether you want to be in retail whether you want to be copier you need to know the job and you have to be the best <coughs> it there's a more emphasis on being the best because it is one of those things which is changing very rapidly and it is a struggling field despite the amount of money people put in this <coughs> kind of struggling field so even if you're not expert you need to be act like an expert you know so uh, so reason you have to miss you have to find a solid reason why you want to move to it um, so what is your reason to move to IT, Neelam? Uh, so it's basically um, the visa sponsorship which okay. we are looking at because in retail it's not difficult, it's not possible at all. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. IT do have a lot of visa sponsorship opportunity plus you could earn your own as yeah. we discussed and it's apply your own sponsorship. And sponsor good pay as well because in retail compared to IT the pay is very exactly. less. Exactly. So, yeah. so you do have a path, I think you have two year plus right now. Yeah. Uh, so you could earn 200,000 to sponsor your own tier, tier 1 just in case you're short I think one of you can go to student visa yeah and then he can become a con contract and start yeah. minting money so moment you get to 200,000 yeah. you can go to tier 1 so you are in a pretty good situation I think you could manage tier 1 if you play your cards right but I'm not from IT that's a question that, no that's a different if you play that's yeah. a different if you play your cards right so it's obviously may require a joint effort and that's a very good for partners because one so when you run out of visa you go on the studio yeah. uh, you, because you can't work on it but if you get a sponsorship he can work on Content. so yeah so you have both the options you either earn the two hundred thousand or you get a sponsorship so a lot of options are there for you people he, he doesn't have any problem i guess so i can do anything yeah <laughs> so i know i know it's kind of like meant millions you know yeah <laughs> and so that's what tell us something about yourself as well because yeah. i just came into the room and uh, yeah so, yeah, so le let me introduce myself. So let's, uh, so I'll open my profile as well. Okay, let's go to LinkedIn. No internet, oh, I didn't put the wire. So then no wonder it is not working. So basically, uh, I work in IT field. You still work in the IT field? Yeah, I still work in the IT field. So I have act many active consultants, so I do exactly what I teach you guys. So, mm -hmm. And I do a lot more, means I, means we have so much demand that, as I said, there's a shortage of skill. People do come after us and locks, like So they're usually not, I work like sometimes 80 hours a week, but I do want to make other people aware of the same things. So, so that's the reason to earn, I mean, so there's a lot of save humanity concept which goes. That's the reason I do a lot more than just IT. So yeah, my profile is not only IT, but obviously IT is one of the major thing which I do. And <coughs> so this profile, I think you may be able to see it. Okay, let's get it up here. So that's my main profile. Uh, basically, I build technical solution architect, technology science leader. So I've been like around twenty years experience. Uh, I'm past graduate from IIT Kharagpur. 
So currently we are serving Metro Bank client as a portal front end customer. So one thing you have to notice that I've downgraded my profile because at the end of the day, what matters like in, uh, getting an IT jo architect uh, contracting, miss, get a job very easily, but then the pay will not be that much. But if you do contracting, the pay will be higher. I can even ask 600, 500, whereas architect pay will be 800, maybe 100,000, but it still comes to, and there's quite a less of contracting available in architect. So if you want to earn more, you have to downgrade. Basically you have to attack, and which will cover why and how to attack. So you sometimes you do have to downgrade your profile to make it fit, more fit for the client. And one of the main, when they, they were high, they were asked, what do you want to do? And then we had to give a very solid reason uh, why you want to downgrade your profile. And so before that, uh, we worked it. So if you see quite a bit of clients, you know, and mostly bank, so uh, Deutsche Bank, and then there was parallelly I was working on BBC. So yeah, many times you'll see I have many clients at the same time. And then I was also he helping European Space Agency. So I said uh, quite a bit I help other clients as well. Like if they are doing social services or helping other people, I may give them discount as well, you know. Uh, so this, this was it running. You can see it's a parallel thing. So both of them actually ended July. So usually, and it also helps you uh, if you do multiple projects, like if one finishes, you still have the other. There's this one unfortunate situation where both of them finish at the same time. Yeah, but it do happen. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't matter because boom. But the how are you managing to do two projects at the same time? Were, were the timing similar? No, we, we say them it's part time and we work only evening and weekend. So, so it's we, basically kind of consultancy and not a... Um, no, it's a half day billing. So basically okay. I will whenever. So I, you basically, the way it usually part-time gigs work is like you tell them, this is a requirement, this is a quotation, it goes, and I will work half day or whatever as I work, I bill, but I give them assurance that... The end result is yeah. what so the requirement this requirement, I will do it in 20 hours, and even if it takes 40 hours, I'll still bill for 20 yeah. hours. Okay. Yeah, sometimes, suppose they change the requirement, then we will tell them, hey, now this has changed and this is upgraded estimate. And yeah, it's, uh, yeah. so we, uh, basically whenever you're doing part-time, it's very uh, good how, to... How do you get these projects? That's what we'll cover. That's what the whole okay. point of this meeting is, you know. Okay, how do we get projects? How do you get hunted actually, right? So, uh, uh, as I said, IIT, uh, so I'm an agriculture girl, and there's a lot of volunteer experiences also in my resume. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a bit of my background. And we will cover exactly how do we get around this gig. Uh, the job market is as difficult for fresher is as it for other people, you know. So it's nothing like uh, experience has. In fact, recently there's a, uh, I think Ernest and said that old people are much too difficult to train, and it's um, basically have become 60% of Capgemini or some company IT is untrainable, you know. So obviously technology is changing uh, quite a bit, and which is making it uh, very easy to move to IT. Uh, but obviously uh, we will cover why so basically you have to have a solid reason why you want to move it could be money it could be respect it could be anything you know and of course there is a lot of job so it gives you uh, for your case a lot of job it's easy as well um, because it means you sit in a place and do it's not like fixing there are a lot tougher job in the world you know than just this okay let's go down the page it's not going not budging oh, okay 